you know, to see the growth of this team, like the last two years, we haven't been like good seasons, obviously, but you know, we uh, we took it head on, we accepted that, and we uh, we worked hard all summer, and it's paying off. It, it's looking more of a program that my players want to come down and play. You know, when you getting recruited and you know the program is too, it's not two and nine, you're not too excited coming. So now that we uh, we like our defense is ranking as high, our offense putting up crazy numbers. So like when when pro, uh, prospects come and they see that, you know, they let they it makes them like want to come here and play. Well, first off, I thought personally the first half was was not good enough at all. Um, I thought we needed to be a lot better defensively, and me personally in the first half. Um, I thought halftime we made a couple adjustments and we kind of we woke up a little bit. Uh, we came out in the second half and we really got after them. Um, but hearing that stat line, it's I mean it sounds nice, but I mean we're just really just executing our technique and executing the play and just playing for each other. And then when you do all that, then those numbers will come. Uh, watching film more than anything, you know, film tells it all. Uh, we knew coming in that this guy was a ball player and uh, he's on scholarship also, so we know he's going to make plays. But as long as you make sure we contain him, we felt like we would be able to shut him down, shut the shut the team down. I love it. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to what I played at Oak Grove, a little bit playing outside linebacker. So it wasn't that much of a, a huge transition for me. Uh, I'm closer a little bit into the box more. You know, I, I like the physicality of it, uh, but I'm also still in coverage, also playing man to man. So it kind of shows my versatility. You know, I love it. I'm gonna be honest. I was just doing what I was coached to do. Like my coach just said, read your blocks and just hit the hole. And I saw a wide open hole. And I just hit it and I got there. Just like uh, in devotional, I just try to play through God. I can't, I can't hang my hat on that one game. I'm young and I'm a freshman, so it's just I just got to get better from there. You know, I just give my that credit to the old line and just thank them, and we just got to keep on rolling. Two years ago, we couldn't run it the length of our nose. Last year, we were a little better, made it an emphasis, and then we made a few adjustments, and and it's you know it's been paying off. Uh, you know, with still two 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 games left to go, we. We got to keep pushing and, and, and keep trying to improve and get better. Um, really, it was a lot of focus in, in, in our intensity level. It, and I told the guys, it seemed like, you know, when we got up 14 zip, it just seemed like, you know, oh, we, you know, we, we, we're here. You know, we're going to, we're going to whoop. No, 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 no. It doesn't do that. It's, it's college football. And it was a good wake up call for us. We, that intensity that we that we play with has to be for four quarters, and that focus, and that that attention to detail, and the energy, and the the heart that you you play with, you've got to, that's got to be for four quarters. It it can't be you know for the first five minutes of the game you're 14, you know, no, it's a four quarter game, and I think we're starting to understand that as a as we progress and starting to win some games, we've got we we're, we have to learn to win. We 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 shocked them at halftime a little bit, and we challenged them, and they came out and responded. And that's what I love about these guys is they've they've responded just about every challenge we we put on them.